Now from the Target 12 investigators, a renewed action to get so-called ghost guns off the streets. Tonight, a new push to ban homemade firearms. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie joins us in studio now with the details. Well, police and prosecutors say they are seeing more and more ghost guns on the street and being used in crimes. It's part of the reason why Senator Jack Reed and others want tougher laws on the books. At first glance, you may not know that this is a ghost gun. It was seized as evidence in a 2021 murder case where a 24-year-old Rhode Island woman was killed. If you look at our gun report from last year, 6% of, of our cases involved uh, a ghost gun. And that's a high number when you consider that in any given year, we are either charging or disposing or charging and disposing around 800 gun cases a year. The device can take many forms, even rifles like an AR-15, and they can all be made at home. Thanks to some companies that have exploited a loophole, violent, dangerous people can purchase untraceable ghost guns with the click of a mouse and assemble them at home like a box of Legos. Last August, the ATF issued a rule that updated the definition of a firearm to include certain parts included in ghost guns kits. That ruling was challenged by gun groups. A five to four ruling by the Supreme Court temporarily allowed the ATF to resume enforcing the restrictions pending final decisions in lower courts. Senator Jack Reed is pushing Congress to do more and take another look at the Untraceable Firearms Act. It would require the sellers of ghost gun kits to comply with federal regulations around gun safety, which includes background checks. It would mandate that unfinished frames and receivers, which make up the core of the ghost gun, be added to the definition of firearm in federal law. Reed says the bill would also require sellers of ghost guns to have a manufacturer's license and include a serial number on the frame or receiver. And this bill would make permanent the ATF's rule so that future administrations cannot bow to the pressure of the gun industry to roll back these important reforms. A reminder that a 2020 law makes it illegal to possess a ghost gun in Rhode Island. The state is just one of 13 that regulates those firearms. With the Target 12 investigators, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Thank you. Now from the Target 12 investigators, after the U.S. Supreme Court temporarily revived the Biden administration's crackdown on so-called ghost guns last month, lawmakers are pushing to put those rules into law. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie joins us now live in studio to tell us how one Rhode Island senator is involved. Alex? Well, for the last three years, Rhode Island has been taking a closer look at ghost guns. A 2020 state law made it illegal to possess them. And now Senator Jack Reed wants to make tougher laws at the national level. In his latest annual report on gun crimes in Rhode Island, Attorney General Peter Narona said there were 66 state cases involving ghost guns in 2022. And that's a high number when you consider that in any given year, we are either charging or disposing or charging and disposing around 800 gun cases a year. These photos show real life examples that Narona says were used to harm and kill Rhode Islanders in recent years. The firearms don't have serial numbers and Narona says what's also been dangerous is that the parts to make them don't require a background check. Anything that our federal, uh, that our federal government can do to help in this fight against ghost guns uh, is obviously most welcome. Senator Jack Reed is one of more than a dozen lawmakers co-sponsoring the Untraceable Firearms Act. It would mandate that unfinished frames and receivers, which make up the core of the ghost gun, be added to the definition of firearm in federal law. The bill would also require sellers of ghost guns to have a manufacturer's license, include a serial number on the frame or receiver in each kit, and take steps to ensure purchases of their products undergo a background check. Reed says the bill would make a recent ATF rule, which updated the definition of a firearm to include certain parts included in ghost gun kits, a permanent one. Anyone can get a weapon without any controls. And that, I think, is a, a, an outcome that we, we must seriously prevent. The Department of Justice says last year the ATF recovered nearly 26,000 ghost guns in the U.S. and nearly 2,500 through international operations. With the Target 12 investigators, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.